Hello? Why can't I? Oh, I... <laughs> Yeah. Yo. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Get it, get it. Get it, yeah, baby. Well, nah, let it loose. Get it. Get that get body it. loose, get man. It. Get it. Ah. My ah. man was good. Ah. Yo, I've always wanted to be that guy that just yeah. like, <laughs> fucking dislocates his shoulders. <laughs> Just okay, so yeah. Like arms <laughs> you yeah. are fucking gross. Yo. Yo, should that be strange? You're not dutty whining. You're dislocating your shoulder. I get it. I hit him with the. I get it. Go oh, best friend. Oh, Go man. best friend. Go best friend. Go best friend. <laughs> hey. hey. What? Just that move just lets me further know how much of a pole da- You want to take pole dancing classes so bad. That's probably going to be his next uh, workout. He, he's yeah. like, yo, I did beach body. I did you and Al trying to get me into pole dancing. Like, pr- just so, like, the he's people do, know. About to strip <laughs> Gary and his girl were talking about, hey, like, we about to start a new workout. Now I know it's about to be fucking pole strip. dancing. Yeah, yeah. Strip night. And that's one of the moves. <laughs> ne- next week, you're going to come in here and... <laughs> It's gonna be a pole in the middle of the, <laughs> in the middle of the house. Yo, you got like to demonstrate if that's boy. the case. Everybody got a regular one. You got me a big boy industrial fucking. <laughs> that shit looks like a telephone pole. Yeah. No, bigger. <laughs> a big Holy boy from Outcast pole. All right, shut the fuck up. Combos at the condo, episode one oh shit. I'm rich, definitely in this bitch. Potter to my left. Razzy in the building, definitely in the building. Potter to my right. His big mic all up on the mic. Cameraman is white. His name is Chuck. He's up and he is stuck. <laughs> I like that one. What up, guys? <laughs> How we doing? Well, I'm all right. I'm man. looking What's for up? Charles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look up in the sky. Some bird is a plane. <laughs> it's Chuck and he's... Uh, but we got to do better about th- this podcast. We got to do better at just not acknowledging him. What do you mean? We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get it at some point. Right, look, Why are you what, pointing him out then? I'm just saying. I'm not gonna acknowledge him after this. Charlie, I, we how was your face? Saying, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta stop saying, let's not acknowledge Charlie. That's acknowledging him, stupid. Y'all did that the whole fucking last part. First of all, I didn't even, I've never, I've Bunch always acknowledged dumb Charlie. Dumb dumbs, yo. All right, anyways, um, how you guys doing? I'm good. Been a week. Uh, you miss me? It's been like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks. You miss me? Two week hiatus. Yeah, I missed you guys. I text you like on the reg. Like, yo, I miss you. I miss you. On the reg. Oh, you text him on the reg? (laughs) Yo, don't text. Don't ever text me on the reg. It's off the strength. I text you on my reg. I get it. Off the strength. I like that. (laughs) I was going to use that term today. I I got you. Sorry. I was in my closet putting my clothes away. I'm like, oh, I'm going to use off the strength. (laughs) (laughs) It just feels right. And you beat me to it. It just feels right. It does. (laughs) Hike two weeks off. How you feeling? So we, I feel great, man. Miss me? It's never. Alrighty, Chucky. <laughs> I feel two weeks off up, for you, Bucko. You didn't have to do no work, lazy fucking bum. Uh, wait. Why would I have to? Ha- what are you talking about? This I got is, like ten jobs. This is work. This, right, <laughs> this is it. Right, you, got, like, you got like ten jobs, but like the important one, which is this one, right? Is this the one that pays the most? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, three ninety nine. I, I mean, uh. But like payment and money is all relative, right? Yeah, he is my guess, bro. La <laughs> la, I was remember. I think yeah, you guys were in the, are in the same chat. I was, Rich, I was, can I ask you something? Actually, yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, what color is my skin? What? Uh-huh. And so right. is is money the most important thing or what? Yeah, okay. Why is right? <laughs> um, but health is wealth, though. Shout out to Gary and his uh, strip pole class that's coming up. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we took two weeks off because we felt like it. So you fuck still you. Still didn't practice your joke. Fuck you guys. What joke? <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> Gary's talking about in general sense. <laughs> Not a specific practice, joke. I, I don't got to practice jokes. See, this is the the best thing about this podcast is that none of us are comedians. So if we Speak say something funny, that, that's just bonus. Speaking of comedians. That's bonus. Chuck. Oh, yeah, Chuck. <laughs> Let's start off with your shit. Our good, our good buddy, uh, Chris. You guys say his, his last name better. Well, last last it's week terrible. Butchered it. It's Chris De- Chris Delia. Okay, good because I butcher all the time. Yo, Delia, that boy good. <laughs> that boy Delia be killing it. Chris Delia, aka Seventeen, is almost old enough. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, we've talked about this before, and Chris Delia is Chris poss- Delia, aka When's Your Birthday. <laughs> It's possibly one of my favorite comedians. Mine too. <laughs> it yeah, is. And Justin Bieber's favorite comedian, if you know the uh, Chris D'Elia 
trajectory. Chris D'Elia, title. aka AJ Number the Number. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm don't don't look at me. This is, this is your world. All right, so he um, normally does the Congratulations podcast, which was also my favorite podcast, which is how I got into Chris D'Elia in the first place. Um, and how far did you get into him? All the way, dude. Balls deep. Yep. Mm. So I watched every single episode. Oh, you were, uh, what was it called? Uh, you were groomed. You were a baby. <laughs> were hey, groomed. my babies. You could say. Okay. Um, so he posted on the channel that he normally posts for congratulations with a video called It's Been a While. And um, that one, oh, whoops. Hold on a second. Can you repeat that? Huh? He said, yeah. Combo to the Condo, a.k.a. your girlfriend's favorite podcast, what it does. So <laughs> he, uh, he uh, basically came and apologized and pretty much admitted that he was a sex addict. Mm. And that um, nice, he was like, look, everything in my life was about sex. And once I got famous, it got super fucking easy. Mm-hmm. And he... I think the highlight of the video that like everyone's rolling with on all the fucking news outlets and everything is he said, um, the girls that responded to me, that's only some of them. Normally in every town I went, I got 50 texts and I responded to every single one of them. See, I didn't, that was wild. Did yeah. he you say that? that have sex? Clip? Yeah. He did. Huh? He, yeah. Yeah. So he said that he responded to every single one of them and he also said that everyone that he had sex with was 18. Um, he was talking to people when they were younger, mm-hmm. but everyone that he had sex with was 18. But he admitted to talking to them when they were younger. Yeah, but he didn't admit to talking to them when they were, they were younger, but he did say that he just responded to whoever texted mm-hmm. him. Yeah. So, so he's one of those, whoever on the field, him, though, you play ball guys. They DM though, not a text. Not right, right. DM. Number. Right, right. I mean, okay. It's yeah. all the same shit okay. now, right? Yeah. yeah. Nah. Is it? It's a well, message. Kinda. It's kind of the same. Yeah, it's all messaging. So how do you? So I, I don't know if you're done with your with your take on whatever. Nasty well, man. I mean, <sighs> Chris D'Elia, aka White Chocolate. I Doctor. I I just always thought like I, I've been, I I will literally Google his name like uh-huh. every two weeks since he got canceled, which was a year and two months ago. So mm, like nice. every two weeks, I would just Google his name and to see if there was any news. Ten hours and <clears throat> three minutes. To see if he says your seconds. name at all. <laughs> He brings up Charlie. 525,000. <laughs> 600. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Mike's definitely not doing rent on this podcast. I did rent in high school. Oh, which one? Uh, yeah. What part? I was Benny. Yeah. Where are you? The butcher? <laughs> boo, 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 boo. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Or, or Benny Charles. Blanco. Anyways, Chris <laughs> is back, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was I'm Benny glad. South Street from uh, Guys and Dolls. I did Guys and Dolls in high school. Cool. I'm sure you still do guys and girls. <laughs> you want a little piece? Yo, we sidestep <laughs> each other, <laughs> but that was the sickest sidestep <laughs> I've ever seen. Ate him with the Euro step. Yeah, he, he was like, here cool. You go. Hey. Here you go. Bye. <laughs> I got the horse right here. His name is Paul Revere. And here's a guy that says the weather's clear. Can do. Can do. Yo, hit him with the show. <laughs> Hit him with the break your shoulders, Ratsy. Your fingers, bitches. <laughs> break your shoulder, Ratsy. <laughs> okay, hit us with uh, the clip. Um, look, I saw, I saw the same video. Um, How'd you feel? You it, yeah, it, it was long. But I was just Pause. like, you know, man, like. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> he didn't. Uh, he made sure that he uh, admitted his faults and everything. And um, I think that's what you should do. I don't think there was anything negative as far as, like, anything that twit. Well. The internet is going to say whatever they want about anybody at any mm-hmm. point about anything. Um, I think he played it as safe as he could, but I still had a problem with some of his wording as far as like you know things being illegal and not being legal. How do you play that? I, safe? I don't. I, I, huh? How do you play that safe? Like just talking about your uh, grooming of underage. No, people. that's what I'm saying. I don't know if he played it that safe or, or, or just tried to word it in a way where he, he could seem it's like tricky. he's being apologetic or just full on being fuck you. It was just right in the middle, did, which didn't yeah. sit too right with me, but also didn't bother me at all. You take notes? Um, and I was just like, all right, you know what, man? Like, fuck it. Like, <laughs> it, it, at this point, Never everybody's know. being canceled. Everybody has something to be, uh, to apologize for. So as far as like uh, apologi- uh, apology videos go, I think he was uh, on, the, on the good side of it all. Top five? Huh? Top five. Top five, top five, top five. Top five apology are they gonna Are they going to put him in prison or jail? 
Is he gonna get? Not nah, he was just like he was just society. No, no, no. Society that, that, just that got was, rid of him. Like that was a hypothetical. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, they're not. Uh, he didn't do anything illegal. I'm just ready for the jokes. Honestly, I want, I want the stand up. I want the podcast back. Like if he's gonna, like I don't give a fuck. Like, now nah, it's nasty to fucking actually groom somebody. But if he's saying like, yo, I text everybody back because these are my fans. I didn't he didn't say, say that, but I didn't he say, did not say he, he didn't say it he like didn't that. T- that's what I'm telling you. The way he like narrated this thing was mm-hmm. it's just weird. Like, right. well, you know, he was apologizing, but you could also see like he was fighting with like he feels like a part of him, a part of himself feels like something was right. OK, but he doesn't want to say it was right. Mm, I mean, he said he definitely said that what he was doing was fucked up. And the biggest part and the reason why he was crying was he basically said that he's a he felt that he was a terrible role model for his son and he cheated on his girlfriend his oh, current yeah, girlfriend yeah, who yeah, who's yeah, no, so while no, she no. was pregnant with their son he was fucking everybody yeah that's enough just no. across the united states at least mm. at least stop doing that all the high and school. how how so a, a all woman that he admitted to how a woman <laughs> could stay by a man after all that is crazy to me like i know people have illnesses but that does the, that does something to a woman's psyche or a man's psyche, you know, sure. if it was the other way around. That sex addict thing, though, I feel like it's a cop out. I'm with you. I feel like, uh, like, I mean, we're guys, we're all sex addicts. Really? Like, I mean, how how is that? Yeah, if that, you have fifty people and, on your phone, and that's just that's not justification to speak and groom <laughs> underage girls because if you're a sex addict, then you can fuck anyone, including adults. You sick fuck. Yeah. So. I don't think that's a real uh, good excuse. I think, but it is just an this excuse. This is how I, I'm sorry, Gary, before you oh. say it. This is how I would say sex addict. If you're like fucking women and men, like you're just greedy with it. Like a watermelon. You just, and, or like, exactly. No, like he's not, he's he's on a good, he's on a, he makes you a good see. point. You ain't never fuck one with no seeds. Like, I want to bust a nut so anything works. You know what I'm saying? That's sex addict. Yeah, but if you just like, I got 50, I got 50 bitches on my phone, like, Damn, I fucked them all. I must be a sex addict. No, you got you just got yeah. fifty bitches on your phone that you, you have the ability to fuck. Horses in the stable. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Horses like, in the w- stable. With, with the watermelon that used to be seedless. Mm, not what you were done with it? <laughs> Mad you know seeds inside of that thing. Oh yeah, okay, play the clip. But but um, what clip? <laughs> it's too long, bro. Yeah, it's uh, super long. Yeah, you had a good I, I think like, talking about like it wasn't minutes. enough. <laughs> no, but I'm with Gary. I think you that, pull up a clip and not play the clip. I'm, I'm with Gary. I think that uh, we do. We've I think he's. He, he, I'm sure he'd be okay doing uh, not uh, paid paid shows. I'm sure he could do like in the in the in the cellar type shit. But I don't think that he has no. Um, like he could do a podcast. Okay, am I am I drawing a blank here? But did we talk about Brian Callen? Who's that? And how he's not... Brian Callen was on The Fighter and the Kid. Uh-huh. He also had allegations against him. And he left The Fighter and the Kid because uh, he, there was more he's like to best be friends with Brandon oh. Schaub, the ex-UFC fighter. Yep. And so... Uh, Did you ever see his stand-up? By yeah, the way? which is okay. I, I'm not the biggest fan of it was fan of best. his stand-up, but it was, it was okay to me. It was serviceable. Yeah. You know, I, I laughed a few times. But uh, I, I like more Brandon Schaub's... Uh, Podcasts or uh, content more than his stand up. I liked his but... story about being high and paying for everybody's food at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. That was a funny little story. Yeah. Um, but Brian Callen's stand up is really good to me. Brian mm-hmm. Callen is hilarious yeah. to me. And So you're really into people that groom? Brian Callen didn't groom anybody. Okay. Just Brian out. Callen was, had allegations about sexual assault against him from like 20 years later, and he had to leave the Fighter and the Kid podcast. Because he wanted Brandon Schaub. Like, he looked out for his homie. He, he didn't want him to, yeah. to lose he didn't his want sponsors. to sponsorships and gotcha. shit like that. Like, yo, you keep doing this, and I'm so going to leave. That, I'm going to bounce. Does, he, now, does that, does leaving something or stopping what you're doing or, you know, just anything that halts your current day-to-day activities due to allegations, is that an admission of fault in any way? I No. Well, here's the thing is that Brian Callen actually went on the attack. So he mm-hmm. immediately said all of these allegations are false. He left the show, and then he started going on talk shows, podcasts, everything he could, and said this lady is full of shit. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm going to counter Sue, and trust me, I'm going to win it, and then you guys will see that I'm innocent. Now, here's the thing, though, is that most of these guys' audiences, and this is including Crystalia, mm-hmm. 
they're predominantly male, yeah. right? So most of the people that are listening to the fighter and the kid are fucking male, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm it really male. this cancel stuff Both doesn't kids. really do anything for them besides it brings them into the light to the opposite sex and makes them look like a piece of shit. Yeah. So the people who didn't know who he was now hate him. Only, That's it. Only based <laughs> off of that That's allegation because they weren't familiar with him in the first exactly. place. Exactly. And they don't care to find the follow-up. Yeah. Now they just always hate him, and that's how it's going to be, and that's just what you have to live with. But as far as fan base goes, it's not going to change anything. Mm-mm. But to Frico's point, um, I got, like like I answered right after he finished, no, it doesn't. But I think anybody, male or female, when they're faced with any allegations that could uh, could alert the cancel culture, business wise, they have. They, if somebody like if if they that person has a way. Huh? Yeah, if they have other people with them, of course. Like the the guy who left the other podcast, you have to leave it in order not to fuck up the money. Uh, and also, if you have a singular one like uh, Delia does, your your, your money's kind of fucked, I would think. Because yeah, you have a strong male fan base, but there would be sponsored. powers that be that would try to even lure those people to stop watching you. It's so bad choice of words. Yeah, huh? lure those people into watching you. Hey man, we in here. <coughs> but uh, maybe to end it. Uh, I'm here for the jokes. I want stand up. Like I want Louis C.K. to come back. I want uh, Chris D'Elia to come back. Brian Callen to come back. Just because I want the stand up. But I mean, of course, if it's if they're guilty for the nastiness, then I mean, yo, fuck off. I, I can live without. I can do without. But I do enjoy stand up comedy, and I do enjoy joking around jokes coming my way right like i i like that shit so if you're not gonna put them in jail if you're not gonna really do anything with them like i mean let them live let them live like what the fuck i i mean they did some nasty ass shit like i mean a lot I of no i don't know if it was I only no nasty ass shit but like the fuck i don't know if it was only louis i think maybe maybe a lot of comedians do this but they do shows not letting the people know who's doing the show mm-hmm and then they come out and they're like, well, fuck it, I'm here. I yeah. got to watch Louis C.K. Oh, they do that, huh? Yeah, Louis mm-hmm. C.K. was doing that for a while. Mm-hmm. And um, some of his shows were, I mean, me and Ricardo has heard, have heard a couple. I purchased his last one. Mm-hmm. It's fucking funny. Yeah, if I, if I went to a show and um, then uh, Louis C.K. came out, I'd be in the front row wearing a poncho. Mm-hmm. Like, that would be my way to, yeah. to fucking troll him, just be in the front row. Like, this is a splash zone. Yeah. Please don't jack off on me. CK. Well, will you pick up a phone call from him? That was a long joke. <laughs> will you pick up a phone call? It went smoother in my head. <laughs> like, in my head, like I was like, were... yo, I'm about to get this off. <laughs> I didn't think anybody was going to point it out. <laughs> I was working it. I was still working it. It'll be good on the next one. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, imagine, like... <laughs> Gary got in your head, bro. <laughs> Gary really got in your head. You know what happened? I, I, was trying to, I was trying to tell it, and then Gary started gazing at me. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, you better bring it. <laughs> Gary started grooming me with his eyes. I fucked up. Man. Are you going? Are you going like pick up a phone call from Louis C.K. and knowing what he's doing on the other end? <laughs> yeah, he's not, I hope he's not having phone sex. Gary, Gary, no, you know he's, that's I mean, what that's, he was accused that's of. That's part of phone Fuck sex. You. What else do you do with phone sex? Yo, need to, <laughs> if Ricardo has a soul, if he has a sultry voice, what? Why? Why, why should Ricardo blame him? Yo, imagine, <laughs> imagine somebody thinking I had a sultry voice. Like, ain't nobody nutting to this. You sound like Missy <laughs> Elliott. Yo, speaking of which, have you ever had phone sex? <laughs> What'd you say? Did he, he say? Sounds like Missy Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> Is your flipping never wang yet? I don't know where that came have from. Have you ever had phone sex? Yeah, of like course. legit phone sex. Yeah, like to completion. Like yo, I'm I'm hoping that there's like that <laughs> there's no videos of me <laughs> in the cloud. <laughs> like, yeah. I hope they didn't fucking bring the screen down, press record. Yeah, Gary didn't even put it on speaker. Off his fucking he FaceTime. Just, he had the phone like with his shoulder and his neck like this. Oh. He's like, yeah, what else? What else you got on? All right. So no, I he's talking had, about that. Not not like had... evolutionized phone sex. Yeah, he's yeah, talking no, about old different school. Different on like a FaceTime. Oh, no, nah, FaceTime fucking... phone sex. That's, that's I don't know if that ca- I mean, yeah, okay, it's phone sex, but it's like, that's like new shit. That's like webcam. Yeah, porn. that's nah, webcam. I'm talking about old school, what you wearing. I'm talking like. I'm touching my balls now. I'm talking about, oh, I got to hurry up because I'm afraid somebody. Might pick up the other line. Old oh, school. No, 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 no. <laughs> Micah. Dog. I yeah. made sure when I did that nobody was home. Yeah. No. I. Uh, that's cool. Can, but can you uh, tell us uh, 
Man, not who it was. <laughs> tell us about your you trying to you trying to get a spank bank going? <laughs> <laughs> no, t- tell us who it was. Who did you have phone sex with? I can never think. Was was her voice sultry and sexy? It was an older woman. Oh shit, that's what's up. What's <laughs> the oldest woman y'all ever? Reach around and grab my dick. <laughs> no, it was back in the AOL days. Oh shit, yeah. she you had to see, you had to put in the CD. Dude, the I can't tell you how many. <laughs> hey, did you? Well, I well, lived in a duplex. I, minutes. I lived in a duplex, so I stole like all the all the AOL discs that I could find, bro. Mm-hmm. That's when you had to fucking put the CD in and shit. Yeah. But yeah, I was a nasty little boy, man. Yo, could you stack the minutes with those? Like get I, I a fifteen minute disc and then I put another fifteen nasty, minute disc. But I would get, I would, I would steal the CD ROMs and download music. Just getting that zero, so she was free. I was doing that shit. Yeah, but at the time it wasn't. <laughs> While you were zero. downloading music, I was downloading porn. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. It was long. different. You know, to each his I, own. I had to crawl so you could walk. I yeah, get it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm nasty. <laughs> um, right. No, nah, but yeah, back in the day, I mean, I did that, and I mean, of course, when it graduated to like cell phones and shit, like. Yeah. You don't have to worry about people being on the line. You just had to just do your damn thing. But now, with like like Ricardo said, is like with the webcam and shit. I think it's way legit. I, that's the only reason I'm mad that I have an Android because like maybe I could get her to if she had an iPhone. Hey, babe, can you download Google Duo? Like <laughs> so we can do some what sort of that? webcamming. All right, Rich, Nasty. Speaking of phone say? sex, though, um, we took two weeks off. In those two weeks was the big V. Mm. I'm not talking about Mike's virginity. I am talking about Valentine's Day. Urgh. 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 Perfect. And, and with Valentine's Day. Oh, your bite or the transition? No, go ahead. <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> um, okay, with Valentine's Day, yeah, I'm sure we all did something special. Mike went on a jerkcation. Uh, Chucky went to... Um, the Big V. The big, what's the Big V? Vegas. Oh, Vegas. It has an L in Las Vegas. But yeah, the Big V. Went to the Big V. LV, whatever. Did not see Gordon Ramsay, I'm assuming. But I do, but, I did want to lead into this because I wanted to know how to go. Because you did not perfect, seem perfect, super perfect, enthused perfect, afterwards. Perfect. So I wanted to know why not. <clears throat> okay, so. Talk to me, Chucky. That's new drop. Talk to me, Chucky. So it actually, so Lex um, loves to, she likes to plan, right? Mm-hmm. But not only is she a planner, she also hypes things up. Because she is a planner, so she's preparing for a moment, and she she wants it to be this grand thing. And I knew that Hell's Kitchen was not going to be what she expected, so I tried to play it down. And <laughs> just in case they get bored of the, us not talking, <laughs> just talk through it. <laughs> just talk through it. <laughs> It's kind of distracting, bro. Yeah, oh, not gonna lie. Grooming Charlie. Uh, yeah, Six seriously. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. So we went to uh, Hell's Kitchen, and um, my food was all right, and her beef Wellington, she hated. So what's beef Wellington? It's rolled up meat. Yeah, it's Word? rolled up meat. It's like basically. Hmm? It's like round beef. No, it's like a nice fancy steak wrapped in like a pastry that is then baked for three hours which cooks the steak to a perfect medium rare mm-hmm. okay okay um, I'll, I'll try it once so she hated her wellington she hated her what wellington. did you get i got the lobster risotto mm. and, <laughs> and you're allergic to seafood what no i'm not bro. no i'm fucking so you not got, you got the mushy rice with lobster yeah and uh, and then I also got the pan seared scallops. Damn, look at him. he went all out. Yeah, hell yeah. She, yo, uh, Alex was like, anything you want, babe. <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> she actually did pay for that meal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was her. She Gift want, to you. Yeah, she Shout wanted. Out to Lex. To, yeah, so she wanted to pay for that. Um, I made sure to pay for everything else. Well, okay, so you did, you guys didn't enjoy Hell's Kitchen as much as you thought. Yeah, and we were in and out real quick. Like they served us our food super fast, and then they were like, "Hey, get the fuck out!" We're because you only get like, like an hour, hour and a half at restaurants now. You only get an hour and a half there, but um, when we got there, they were closing in forty minutes. Oh shit! So they handed us our food. We ate it. They they handed us our appetizer, our entree, and our drinks all at the same time. That's kind of like drinks too. Cheating yeah, everything. Wait. Experience though. Quick question. Yeah. This was a reservation. This was a reservation. How do you reserve forty minutes? Was it was it because she that's the only one she could find? 
Yeah. That was the only one that was available. Okay. So what time? Okay, was no, this no. like it's 1 a.m.? No, no. So it was 10, 15 p.m. and they oh, closed okay. at 11. Uh, okay. And we got there. Yeah, that sucks. We got there at 10, 22 or something like oh, that. That really sucks. So, and legit, we ordered our food and they brought it, like they had it ready to fucking go. So they had some. How do you have beef Wellington ready? Well, you have to cook beef Wellington for three and a half hours. Exactly. So they cook it around the clock so that they mm-hmm. always have beef Wellington to go. Okay, but that means that like lobster risotto takes an hour to make, so they're making those around the clock. They just they had all their dishes. They had one of every fucking dish ready to go for the last people that came in, just so that they could hand it to you and be like, "It's ready. Eat it and get the fuck out." So that was kind of the experience of Hell's yeah. Kitchen, so uh, which was not great. What yeah. what what uh. All right, so fuck Hell's Kitchen, then I guess. Okay, mm-hmm. maybe you're still a Gordon Ramsay fan, but is like, it Gordon Ramsay's what, what, fault? <laughs> what? No. What? What? Uh, did you eat anything at the burlesque show? Oh yeah, there was uh, a part of you. some cake, maybe. Part <laughs> the yeah. little cake for the burlesque. <laughs> Nothing at the burlesque show. Okay. Did you? Did you have a, any good drinks there? Did you pitch maybe? a chubby? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Fuck, no, Lex was, was asking me which one's your favorite. Like every every, every single time so you, somebody so came out, so she was like, here. "Which one so is your favorite? Which one was your favorite?" But like hypothetically, babe, like come on. She's like, not gonna hear this. Uh, was your was it the blonde, the brunette, the guy? He strikes the... me as a redhead kind of guy. Huh? He strikes me as a redhead kind of guy. Yeah. There was one was redhead the that I did point out, but no, my favorite was definitely there was a. Half white, half Hispanic chick who was from Las Vegas. Mm. Mm. Oh, they tell you they're from. Yeah. No, no, he, he checked the Instagram. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Not, they said where they were from at the yeah, end. The Coming out like, Googling. from Death Valley, <laughs> weighing in at 265 <laughs> oh, man. pounds. Basically. Wait, what's basically what's what they so doing. Charles like his girls, BBW. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, so. so he, at them titties, uh, Yeah, man. Look you know where I'm going with it. It was a song. Sorry, Charles. Okay, so the burlesque show, what happens in that? I've never been to one. Nah? Nah. Yeah, they just show the titties. Yeah. <laughs> dancing around. Dancing. Yeah. Singing, so right? It's, it's like yeah. Sam's. You've been to Sam's? Yeah, well, I've been to Sam's. But <laughs> yeah, but they don't sing at but Sam's. But like burlesque. <laughs> like, I picture like a speakeasy and like chicks in like lingerie. Mm-hmm. But this, I mean, other than that, like it was full, great, right? But yeah, no, it was yeah. fun. Can you still it was put a full big ass show. There was a magician no, who was no. from like America's Got Talent who was there. Nice. And he did some shit, and uh, we got real drunk. We got one of those fat, like, you know, like the yard ones. Fat Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. went to Fat Tuesdays and got the tumbler and mm-hmm. just drank that shit. Good. Nice. That's cool, man. We got real fucked up. If you can't enjoy, you might as well get fucked up, right? Vegas yep. was fun, though. Like, uh, the overall I mean, yeah, ambiance. Yeah, how is it with COVID? And, you know, how is it with COVID out there? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot less people. Yeah. But... And shit closed early, bro. Really? Not not you can't like party at Dre's till like seven in the morning, <laughs> eight in the morning. Dude, everything like literally every food place even shit. closed at M M&M store. One AM. One AM everything was closed. It was like go back to your rooms, yeah. the night is fucking over. Yo, if I go to Vegas, it's only to stay up all night. It's on. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I'm not going to fall asleep at one. I fall asleep at one here. The only time I fell asleep at one in Vegas was when I went with my mom and my aunt, and I had the fucking worst experience with an edible. And I I think I've told this story. No. No? Tell it now. All right. So I take, I go to the, I go to the shop out here and I'm like, all right, let me get some edibles because I'm not going to smoke around my mom. Mm, Right. So I'm going to take some edibles. I take an edible at the pool. I'm cool. Take an edible. Uh, at dinner, I'm cool. Take an edible when I go out, cause I always go out by myself. Like I'll hang out with them during the day, if I would go with my parents or my mom or whatever. Or uh, and that that time I went with my aunt and my mom. I left them at the hotel room, took an edible. I saw Lil Yachty was a new perf- uh, new rapper at the time. I'm mm. going to go to a to a club. He's performing. I'm like, all right, let me just go over here by myself. Let me go see Yachty. Yeah. And I get to the club, I'm they drinking, and then the edible hits. And when the edible hits, I'm just starting, like, this is my third edible this day. So I'm just feeling, like, all types of high. I don't know if it's because I was at the pool earlier, I'm dehydrated. 
because I've been drinking all day. Still in a bikini. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so I walk out with my bikini on. But no, what what took me over the edge was um, I I took a sip of my drink and an ice went down down the gullet. And I'm like choking on the ice, <laughs> like trying to wait till it melts. And I'm like, yo, fuck this. I'm leaving. So I didn't even see Yachty perform. I put the drink down. I walk out. I swear the whole street was on a slant. I had to I had to sit down at the fountain at Caesars before I even walked down to the hotel, like to take a break. Worst edible experience of my life. <laughs> I go get to the hotel. My mom's like, why are you here so early? Cause I usually, anytime I was with my parents, like I would, cause they like to go gamble and shit. Like I would come home like five, six in the morning from the clubs. Like they knew. So I, I, I'm, she's like, what, why are you here so early? I'm like, ah, you know, I, I just, I'm, I'm just okay. Like I didn't want to be outside. I lay down for a second, get back up, go to the bathroom, throw up. Everything. Like throw up and then I'm just in the bathroom like looking in the mirror like don't die. Don't die. Don't Yo, that's die. the worst when you're looking in the mirror and talking <laughs> yeah, to yourself and yeah. you're that high. Yeah. Fucking and then I'm worse. like thinking like I'm going to wake up with, in my mom's arms dead, like which is a fucking contradiction in itself. But still, like that's what my worst fear was. Yeah, because you're not waking up. Yeah. Yo, I remember uh, one time I, I, I got super high and I was standing in the bathroom. And it's like I felt like I was going to pass out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, fuck. I'm about to pass out. Don't pass out. I'm about to pass out. What Don't do pass you? out, fool. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? Don't how do, do I, that, fool. How do I not pass out? <laughs> I was like trying to pep talk myself into not passing I didn't pass out until like later, later. But uh, yeah, mm. that looking in the mirror when you're high yeah. shit. Nah. Fucks with you. No uh, <clears throat> the, end the ending of your story kind of reminded me of uh, you what you what you wanted us to talk about? Uh, our worst fears. Our what, what oh yeah, we well uh, that was a, that was a topic. Yeah, your I worst forget fear is dying what, where and it came up from. In your mom's arms, huh? Your worst fear is dying and waking up in your mom's arms. Yeah, You're not well, dead, bro. You're as awake a, as a zombie, <laughs> <laughs> and then like, eating your mom. Ah, like, oh, fuck. You're like fuck. How did this happen? <laughs> 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 Mom, ah. good thing nobody caught yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, we we caught just it. skip over we, that. We caught it. I just have more respect yeah. than to go deeper into that. <laughs> fucking Paul. Oh. No, no, no. Because you're you're reckless. Don't do it. Yeah. No, I was just thinking. No, no. I know you're thinking. Jump. But stop. Immortal technique. <laughs> oh shit! Dance with the devil. Dance with the devil. Nah, with the devil. No, thank you. I am not doing <laughs> any of that. However, <laughs> stepmom. <laughs> stop. You know, you're so much bigger than your dad. <laughs> Shut up, mom. Fucking liar. Um, <laughs> hate you. All right. I hate you, but you. <laughs> no, you hate me, but you're strangely aroused, right? You're no. not even my no. real mom. Uh, you said I hate you, but you kept going. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I still hate him. All right, what do you prefer, step mom or step sister? Porn? Which one? <laughs> That's not what we're going. Neither one. That's Neither not one. What we're talking about step mom or step sister? Porn? Any, we're any talking point? about the worst fears. Okay, your worst Charlie, fear. Go, scroll up to the top. My worst fear is there. It is right there. Oh, that's it. What are you most afraid of? My, my, okay. my, my, I'm most afraid of watching stepsister porn and seeing my real sister. No, okay, that's not it. Uh, my worst real fear? Uh huh. Drowning. Drowning. I, I'm scared to like be in the ocean and like be stuck there. Like, mm. let's say I go on like fucking a Disney cruise or some <laughs> shit. Something that takes me into the middle of the ocean. I don't know what. <laughs> but <laughs> a carnival cruise is that cooler? I don't know. <laughs> Why, why, Disney. why are you laughing at that's his fear yeah, we're being vulnerable nah, on the podcast okay, right, and you're it, just laughing it. at that let's shit say, let's say I, i'm just picturing him on the jungle cruise at disneyland <laughs> just drowning yeah all right let's say i'm on a fucking, going overboard and just like where the fucking snake comes out the water and gary shit. usually when, when your head goes nah, places I'm, no I'm, hold on usually when your head goes places it bothers me but that that was impressive <laughs> The Jungle Cruise? Okay. I, I'm, I'm the dude who's on the pole and the rhino's trying to <laughs> poke me up the ass. That's me. No, um, all right. Let's say I'm on a fucking pirate shit. You know, real boss shit. So now you're in Pirates of the Caribbean, right? I'm Jack Sparrow, right? Um, and Quit the, while you're ahead, right? The ship capsizes. And then I'm just fucking in the middle of ocean. I can't see land in 360 degrees. And I'm like floating on something small. That's terrifying. It right? is. It is. How am I going to get to land? How am I not going to drown? How am I not going to get eaten? How am I not going to get taken under by a big ass wave? Do you have anything unique? Like, I mean, that I think would make everybody afraid. Do you have like a unique thing that you feel like everybody's cool with, but you're afraid of? Fire. 
No, because I'm not really. I mean, I'm not gonna be like I'm not scared of anything. No, for but sure. Like we're all afraid of like the same thing. I'm sure sometimes. I have irrational fears sometimes, but I I don't know if there's one particularly like a point out that would be of any. I mean, I hear you because and the only reason I ask is to kind of keep the content going because I honestly don't. I have general fears like everybody else has. Like that's a, that's a fear of mine because I can't swim. Um, and there's I mean other general fears like uh I mean like. Uh, of dying in a fucking car crash or something, especially like as a as an Uber driver and just watching random videos like that fucking Texas car crash. I can't tell you how like like I don't have I don't get yeah I don't have anxiety, oh, but like I was bad. getting a little a little bit of it driving like the next day. Gary had flashbacks. Shit, shit, you know he got T bone. You know it was way his T bone was way better than Alexis survived. Beef Wellington. But I uh, know I don't I don't really have like a um a, off the, off the top of my head like a unique one uh that's like uh that I'm a, that uh I feel like nobody else or like but what, me. what about something weird like yeah I, I'm scared of like uh, waking up one day and finding out that my parents aren't really my parents and nah. I don't know my real family nah I don't like care that. about all that nah. No, I don't care about all well, that the reason, reason for that because then everybody would be a step you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this episode. Right. I thought you were gonna say Harry, this is the Harry Truman show or some shit. That's what. That's Harry what Truman. The Frico. Frico has like. He, he, I remember he pulled me to the side. Is it, is it the Truman show? I'm sorry, not yeah. Harry Truman. <laughs> <laughs> the Truman show. I'm sorry. Harry Truman, the president. This is the Harry Truman show. This is that was 1946. Ba- you yeah, that, that was a bad one. Um, no, because Frico is telling me like, yo, like. Sometimes I feel like I'm in the Truman show. Like y'all ain't real. Like that. That does scare me. In, in in a tiny way. Like, I don't really think that's possible or that it's true. I felt like that when the Truman Show actually came out and I was probably like 12 or some shit. Yeah, and what? I was just looking in the mirror like, yo, what if everybody around me is like just faking it? Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, or like, yeah, like if they're faking it or like, yeah. you know, like if, if everybody's watching you. Also that's, like a, that's like a total recall when uh, Sharon Stone wasn't really Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife and shit. Just trying mm. to kill him afterwards. Yeah, I that's, didn't a, see that's a fear. You I never just, seen Total Recall? Probably when I was three able titties? to watch. Uh, three titties. I wasn't able to watch a lot of shit as a kid. There's I also mean, three I titties and mall rats. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, so to help the topic, uh, there was something me and Frico was uh, talking about on the way here. Uh, I've, I've been driving late night a bit, and um, just something came to my head. It was like, you know, I don't really have anything to protect myself. So the next day I texted Frico, like, hey, you got, you got yeah, knives. Like, let me get one of them, right? And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll hook you up. So he hooked me up. And like... As as soon as he gave it to me, no, not as soon as he gave it to me. As soon as I started driving Uber with a knife in my possession, everybody could get it. <laughs> like I was like, I because as soon as he got in the car t- today, <laughs> I said te- ways to stab people. And shit. No, for sure, because I I said, hey, Frico, you know, you got knives, man. He was like, yeah, I was like, yo, how do you not, how do you not think about like just stabbing folks, just having it. Like yeah, if damn. like if dudes like if people like you think people are testing you, not like you want to kill people, but like people like yeah, you, if you test me, I'm I'm, I'm packing. Mike Schoen over here yeah. driving around with yeah, a sword like, in his, ba- yeah, in no, his back I'm, pocket. Like every time a passenger, <laughs> like no, for sure. Every every time a passenger would get in, every time a passenger would get, in, I, I told him every time a passenger would get, in, I'm like, <laughs> yo, if, if if they try something, like I'm I'm. I'm carrying like I'm ready. Different ways to kill him, <laughs> like for no reason. Like they've done like, nothing. Yeah, the funny thing is, we're like, I like slice you right now. Yeah, years, for sure. <laughs> and they've done years nothing down the to line me. When, when we when we start to pop, and then uh, Mike kills somebody <laughs> <laughs> with a knife, and they, and, they, and they use this episode in court. <laughs> he literally groomed us. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he said it, but I didn't believe him. We're gonna throw you in jail based on episode one hundred and seven. No, but um, no. I was telling him like, how do you not think about that shit? Like, just anybody can I get do. it, dude. But it's like it, whatever, you, like a knife, a gun, or whatever. It's it is um a little bit of a source of power, but there is fear in there. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I shouldn't be having this because. But it's a knife. It's legal. Just it legal. is. But in my head, I'm 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 I like I have a knife I, in my back. I shouldn't when have I this hike. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Yeah. Also, got in case gun. <laughs> nah. In case like of fucking. 
mountain lion attack. Yeah. Like, I think about that shit all the time. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not as powerful as a mountain lion, but, <laughs> like, if I have a knife, maybe Don't I have a chance. Don't sure, bro. You might can take a mountain lion. Yeah, I mean, you know what? You know what I mean? It's not a real lion, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a fucking mountain lion. <laughs> yeah. It ain't oh, mountain, a Serengeti. Lion from the birds. Get yo, the fuck out of here, mountain yo, lion. Yo, insulting a mountain lion is hilarious. Like, I mean, it's not a real lion. <laughs> yeah, it got no mane. Where's your mane? But th- that got me thinking, like, People carry like pocket knives, like just yeah. that's a standard kind of carry type of mm-hmm. thing. And some people we got you know stuff to carry guns or whatever. Not in California because it's impossible. Mm-hmm. But like, what if we carried like some like cool type of weaponry? Like I think that's all normal shit. Like a Ninja like, Turtle. Just yeah, just have fucking some fucking nunchucks. size or like some. <laughs> yeah, have some nunchucks in your back pocket. Two big ass sticks like yeah. in your shell. Nah, Donatello's stick was whack. <laughs> was were. it though? <laughs> What if, like, he put it to staff? No, he he had a. It was was a staff. staff? It was no. Wasn't it called the? Already got staff. There's a special name for a stick. Infection. My dad calls it a hiking stick. (laughs) (laughs) Gay. When Donatello come out of nowhere and hit you in the head with that staff, you knocked out. Your butthole bleeding. You ain't gonna be like, yo, that staff does work. (laughs) Well, first of all, he's a fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of a sudden. sudden. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Secondly, a, li- a mountain lion's not a lion. Bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not like talking about a liger or nothing like that. Donatello wears purple anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so. Uh, <laughs> what you got, Chuck? Speaking of uh, stabbing and knives and whatnot, uh, mm-hmm. did you guys hear about Slow Ties' new single that dropped? No. Mm-hmm. So he hit... Um, number one on the international charts Mm -hmm. for his album and uh with his uh uh new hit song with skepta called canceled and for their music video they did um kind of like a homage to 80s horror slasher films yeah yeah, slasher films have you guys seen it no no you guys want to check it out yes we do all right Love a good slasher. Can we talk? Uh, we ain't doing we, nothing else. Nah, don't show Mike, though, because he's going he's gonna to get ideas. He's going to be trying to kill his fucking <laughs> passengers. Sick fuck. Candy cane. <laughs> he's like, they better not say my name three times. I swear to God. Imagine Mike sneaking up in you in the bathroom. So this is paying right. homage to a scary movie. <laughs> Is this the the guy? Yeah, this this is him. And that's American Psycho. That is American Which Psycho. Which I still have not seen, Charlie. You have not and seen I'm American sorry. Psycho. Never. It's all satire. Yo, I fuck with it though. I liked it. Okay. Hey. No, this is shit. Now you gotta watch American Psycho, bro. He looks crazy. He yeah, I don't no, want to uh, fuck with him. Maybe I that's him the guy who's though. rapping is him right there. No, that's oh, Skepta. Okay. Skepta. Fuck it. I'm not Skepta. Learn he sounds like he sounds just like Skepta. He said, "Learn your Brits." <laughs> Oi. Yeah, I'm a big Oi. fan of Skepta's rap. Yeah, Skepta, Skepta. I'm from Britain. I rap like this because I have an accent. Oh, okay. Look at me, peel my face. Uh, now I got a new face. What? Rapping real fast. Who gonna stop me? Not short ass. I'm real good. Quick man. Cool? I'm from the hood. What? Uh. Oh shit! Just like Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Oh shit. Hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm catch every single reference. Um, I'm gonna show you my horror want, movie. I would I would like a Freddy Krueger uh type of sweater. sweater yeah. I like, got you, bro. A Kooji? Nah. <laughs> a Freddy Kooji? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me get that Freddy Kooji. <laughs> Name of the episode. <laughs> Freddy Coochie. Holy shit. Uh. Uh, Candyman. Got it. Yeah. Name it them all, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Oh, shit. He, bo- he dancing like Bobby Schmarter. Let's go. Welcome home, Bobby. He Shut takes this shit so seriously, dude. <laughs> no, but this is, this is like that Backstreet Boys video. Cancelled. Cancelled. Oi, oi. Who's oh this? shit, Texas Chainsaw. Mm. That shit is exactly the same. Wa- like, he does it pretty perfectly. good. No, no, yeah. that's, pretty, <laughs> like, that's pretty dope. And not the remake. This is the 1970s version. Now, whoever directed this, they did a great job. Was that Hunchback? Oh no, that's a guy. <laughs> that's a guy on his back. <laughs> he was doing the fireman carry. Mm-hmm. You can go, you can go, you can Yo. go, go. What was that last one? 
Uh, that was actually to introduce his next video, Vex, which just dropped oh, like a which couple is days why ago. I didn't get the reference. I still it's am okay. 100%. Baby. Hey, it's okay, man. Hey, I'm shooting good 100 job, on the good field. Job. So, yeah, no you, said, you said Bobby Smurda, right? Dick Swain. Bobby yeah. Smurda is free. They let him out. Yo, they had fun with that hat on the internet, man. The hat landed. Did y'all see the video? Um, the, the one where uh, Thor is getting fucking his ass yeah. handed to him by Thanos. And then uh, he, like, reach reaches for the hammer and but like oh no the hat comes and hits it Thanos hits like, in the yeah. head <laughs> I saw a better one and then fucking Schmurda is dancing in the back <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw a better one that uh, that said uh, I think it was like Complex posted or something but it said uh, Bobby's hat finally landed mm-hmm. and it was just a video of like the hat in like orbit it was just spinning in the sky yeah and then like when he got released it just starts Going back down into onto Earth and it lands and it shows him catching it uh-huh. and then doing his little dance. <laughs> That's that dope. Super fire. That's dope. Um, but yeah, he's free after what, like six years? Yeah, six, six years. years. Didn't snitch. Six years. Stay strong. Snitch. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you ever got in trouble, right? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't necessarily your fault. You were kind of involved. Mm-hmm. You snitch. You you going down with the ship? Like I'm not saying. I'm snitching. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's just the way you started it was hilarious. <laughs> He's snitching. I'm not saying I'm snitching. Like if my mom was there and my dad was there, no, 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 I like, mean, I might as well. Look, I, I'm not saying I'm snitching, but I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> there's, but I'm there's, not going to lie. There's circumstances. This guy stood tall for his homies. Uh-huh. I don't know you, and I know you fucking did some bullshit. Like you fucking... I, I seen you rape or some shit like that where I couldn't stop it myself. I'm okay. snitching. Okay. To the fuck? You. To save yourself? Yeah. Like, I was there. I seen him do it, but there was a fucking wall in between us. But that I ain't was no rape glass. Or... So that's how I saw I couldn't fucking break the glass. It was ple- plexi. I mean, but, but <laughs> so I understand what that means. Was he fucking doing like, it in an interrogation room? <laughs> that, that makes, that makes I can't, sense. I can't what, break through it. There's no what, chair What Frico's saying through. is totally different. Like, what you said, yeah. I think anybody in that situation would say something. I'm saying I you mean, were it's involved obvious. in a crime, yeah, mm. of some sort. Let's say just something, something petty. You, uh, you nah. and your friend uh, stole some money somehow. Me and Fred. So you and you and the homie Fred. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not st- snitching. But on it was Fred. his idea. He nah, just kind of got dragged into Fred it. Well, Gary's his own man. Guy. I think at that, at the end of the day, you're your own person. You make your own decisions, and if you find yourself. Stupidly going on along with this idea that you know if you're caught you go only, to jail. Only reason why I brought that up is because we had we have both sides of the coin. Mm-hmm. We got six nine who went to jail for shit that I guess he didn't do, but he was around people that did snitch off rip. Mm-hmm. He went in <laughs> knowing he was gonna snitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As soon as he they put the cuffs on him, he was like, I tell y'all everything. Right? Everything. Then you got Bobby everything. who went in with his whole crew with uh What's his name? Um, um, uh, Rowdy. Rowdy. Rowdy Rebel. Mm-hmm. And didn't say a word. Did his time. Six years, I think. It's something like that. It was a while. Um, and stayed strong and came out and still has the respect of everybody else. So it's like, I saw an argument for 6 9 saying that he didn't snitch or that he did snitch, but it doesn't like count against the street code because he wasn't a street guy. He was just a civilian yeah, that's a scape, that's a scapegoat. Like he is. I see that street, point, but like, no. He's you haven't still, seen the Jorner Lucas song and video? I Snitch? Yes, I have seen oh. it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I have. It's the world where he's like Will Smith. <laughs> no, <bro. laughs> no. no, I know. I know you're talking about. That is was, that the one where the black dude and the white dude are, are talking to each other? It, it was like Pursuit of Happiness, kind of. <laughs> That's a good ass video, though. Like, I showed that to uh, my Brian, my to be father in law. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and, then he, and then he raped me. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna snitch, though. <laughs> I'll cut that part of that in the episode. <laughs> Not gonna snitch, though. Just for you, buddy. <laughs> no, no, leave it in. Leave it in. Uh, oh, no. Hey, you could put times on there now? Yo, shout oh. out to the at the combo. Team no edits. Yeah. We don't play games. All right. You say um, that now. <laughs> no, but um Okay, so but to, to, to what Ricardo was saying, look, I I, I think that's a scapegoat. I, um it just goes back to my statement of you're your own person. Mike um, this time for sure. Huh? You you run in the yard, I think. Oh, uh, if I'm in jail? 
I, I, you know what? I, I I've hey, thought about somebody this with the lunch plate. Well, I, I'm not gonna go there because that's a whole different conversation. Dude, I've always wanted to do that. Like, what? You, you're, you're like getting chow, uh-huh. and, you, and you got your fucking tray, and then someone tries to test you. And you just grab that shit from the corners. You just whack him in the face with the fucking lunch. I'm tray. eating first though. I'm gonna eat first. I'm gonna stand up with the tray, and then I'm gonna beat you. Mm. But nah, I'm gonna eat first. It depends on what they serve that day. Mm, you if should eat first because what if you have to fight? You need you can't fight on empty stomach. That's true. That's true. Gary's like, I Yo, need fuel for this fight. Mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> I need let fuel for this fight. Let me get this says. energy in real quick. I'm about to fuck you up as soon as I finish this pudding, bitch. <laughs> you gonna eat your cornbread? I just saw life like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Yo, if it's a good if, movie, to, under, under, underrated. I'm gonna want that cocktail. To, Fruit. <laughs> to Frico's conversation, if we're going with the whole uh, victim aspect of it all, I think everybody. That has been in those t- uh, those types of gang situations are victims, like victims of society. Like, unfortunately, like what you grew up in. So, okay. if we're gonna throw the word victim there, then let's start from the from the beginning of it all. You know, and I'm okay with that. But you can't play the victim card, snitch, and then come out and still try to be hard. Yeah, no. Which is what six nine exactly. Did. No, like he came, he he snitched. He played the victim card, and then he came out, and now he's trying to go back to the same mm-hmm. antics that he went in with. You can't do that guy. because now we know it's, it's all an act. Now we know it's fake. No one believes you. No one respects you. And that's why no one gives a shit anymore. Yeah. That's the difference. <laughs> and Bobby came out. He did his time. Didn't say a word. He comes out and everybody's like, hey, Bobby Schmerder's out. Yay. Mm-hmm. Everybody's happy because regardless of what he did or didn't do, we respect the actions from what came of that. So I think that that's the difference. And if I ever get in trouble, I am stationed on everybody. Um, Charlie, you are shaking your head, and please indulge me with. Why. Yeah, Char- what if Charlie was like the person that stuck to the street code more than anybody in gang, here? Gang, gang, dude. <laughs> gang, gang, so. bunch of bunch of snitching ass bitches. <laughs> I think him, Charlie. That, I think that Charlie would though. Yo, let's well, go, so Chuck. Please, let's let's go Charlie. Chuck. Look, I believe in the whole not snitching yep. shit, but at the same time, I feel like. We have to see how Bobby's about to get treated, like, the next couple of years. Because if 6 9 can snitch, make millions, yeah. keep that money, exactly. and then still make millions and walk away and be completely fine. And then Bobby Schmurder comes out and his career doesn't take off again. Nobody gives a shit. No one gives him a helping hand, and who knows? Maybe somebody fucking kills him so that they could be the guy who's like, "I killed Schmurda," or whatever the fuck it is. If that shit happens, it's all over. No one is going to follow the code anymore. No one is. Nobody. I mean, snitches. I snitches. think. I think what happened. What's going to happen to Bobby is what's happening to Meek right now. I mean, Meek went to jail, came out, and you, uh, you hoped that. You know, and got into feuds with Six Nine. No, but that's the however, thing. Like now, he's in a position where he's doing silly shit. You know no, what no, I mean? No, no. Meek is he doing was, silly shit though. Meek, Meek went into jail. Like I'm not not discrediting Meek at all. Meek went into jail, uh, beefing with Drake, and losing a beef to Drake. Mm. I think the consensus was that Meek lost to Drake. Certified lover boy. Oh, okay, I'll give you that. And 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 Meek came out. And Meek was uh, revered, right? Yeah. Um, Until now. And, that, and then he started doing some shit, like, still revered now. But at the same time, it's like, you've seen over the years, he's, like, hanging out with big wigs. But then, like, he's still, like, fucking up, with, fucking he's, with 6 he's 9 still like, Twitter why? fingers. Like, he's still Twitter fingers. And I think what, a lot of what Meek does or what Meek did was... Oh, you got to talk about that uh, I, Kobe Bryant line, too. I, I think a lot of what he, he did was, was, you know, good stuff as far as, you know, getting himself out of prison and trying to help other people with prison reform and shit like that. But then he came out, he just started doing some silly shit, mm-hmm. man. Like, beefing with 6 9 you should be above that. You mm-hmm. should ignore it. You should not entertain Everybody it. Everybody should ignore it. And then don't, like, don't tweet about it. Yeah. And, and if you do tweet about it, don't tweet dumb shit. Like, why'd yeah. you pick me? Why? Like, just don't tweet stupid <laughs> shit. Like, mm-hmm. that's dumb. He was whining a bit. And you posted the video, just like 6 9 posted the video, which puts you in the same level as 6 9 mm-hmm. Just ignore it. Be above it. And don't release lines about Kobe. Ever. Ever. Never, ever. ever. Like, Never bring up Kobe. Like, <laughs> and, and not, okay. The ball Ma- wasn't that great. I'll, I'll take it back. Go you ahead. Can bring go up ahead, Kobe. Ahead, you can bring up Kobe. But just don't bring him up in a disrespectful way 
for a shitty bar. Mm-hmm. And, and that's that's one of the. It's because the bar was disrespectful. I'm going out with my choppers, Kobe. Some I'm, shit like going, that, right? I'm, I'm going with my chopper. I'm gonna be. It'll be another Kobe. Okay. That's disrespectful. One because it's too soon. Yeah. Which I. I think that's also a cop-out kind of. Too soon? No. It's too soon, first of all. Yes. Too soon is a thing, but it, it, I, I think that's not really the underlying problem. Kobe's a fucking problem legend, bro. The, Kobe. It's disrespectful to, to his family, who still has to be here and deal with it. It's disrespectful to his other kids, who still have to be here and listen to it and get reminded by your stupid line because you're such a popular artist. So now they got to hear it. And... It's just not a good bar at all. Like, I think what people are missing too, as well, not only this Kobe thing, but also the Takashi thing, and maybe other things that we've missed from Meek is that he needs new friends. You're in a studio rapping, and you decide to use that bar. You have people in the studio. That's like a or a producer. Bar. Just kidding. <laughs> or, or a producer, and they say nothing to you. I mean, you could you could throw your weight around like I'm Meek Mill. Fuck you. Put that shit up. But at the same time, like, you don't have nobody on your, in your camp that says, hey, look, Takashi's over there. Go back in the club. We're going to bring the car around. We get you in the car. You don't got to see Takashi. You don't got somebody to say, yo, don't use that bar. He needs new friends. Yeah. I, th- I think he, she when he was with the big, new yes it, it, it could be that when he was with the big wigs, he got uh, his, his boys that, uh, you know, was his boys before he got in, in, in jail. He had to put them to the side in order to see to get um, whatever it is they were trying to do with the uh, what were you saying was the jail thing the uh, that he was working with uh, oh, j- uh, prison reform yeah when he was working with prison reform he was busy doing prison reform not like that's why Kim went met with him yeah rappers and that's street why shit getting the divorce yeah which will all lead that. us into yeah. our next topic after no, the break not yet after the break but uh, but yeah he just he just needs new friends get into favorite bars uh. Well, look, I, I think we do get into that. We should probably save it because it'll be save a longer it, conversation. It would be. Um, so, let's 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 yeah. clip it here at the Meek Talk. We'll come back to uh, Kim and favorite bars and all that other shit. For sure. I was the condos. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? The condo. <laughs> Just good. We're, we're the dancers. Condos at condo. <laughs> condo. I don't know the rest of it, but that's how it starts off. <laughs> Con boys. No, that's not it. <laughs> it's us, con the con bros. bros. <laughs> um, yo, that's gonna be a thing. Um, I'm mad so. that it's not yet. So the con bros. Bo- 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 Mario, come back. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that that song is from the original Mortal Kombat. Fire. Mario, okay. But you hated the fact that Scorpion had a new know. get over here. That weak ass get over here. Was it weak though? The- it, it was lazy. He was like, Get over here. Did, did you guys? Did you guys hear about the theory of the main character? Go ahead. Yes, I, I was about to. Uh, oh, Cole, oh, his name the, is uh, Justin Cole. Some shit. Cole, Cole, Young. Cole, Cole Young. Young. Cole Young. Cole Young. Justin Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him the name. Justin Cole, my man. All right. So Cole Young, the theory is that he is a descendant of Scorpion, or will become Scorpion, and we don't know yet. Cause he's the like brand new main uh made up character for the Mortal Kombat universe. Yes, yeah. he d- he never appeared in any of the games. Yeah, yeah. And um, he's a brand new character. Yeah, who, and he has the dragon tattoo, he which means have, he's from the realm of the people with superpowers. Which means he got branded. Shout out, oh, really <laughs> hot Mortal Kombat iron. Mm-hmm. On his Yo, ass. so I saw possibly the same video i saw a couple of videos because i was in a, a for any of them step porn that i didn't understand okay any of like what was going on in the trailer and then i said i had to watch a couple of videos to understand what was going on yo there are so many fucking realms and and mm-hmm. so much shit that goes in like when you go to the video game the i guess the comics all this other shit <laughs> wasn't it gary where if they could do <laughs> they could do endless possibilities of what they could do to this movie um because this uh cole young character i was like you know what man like i don't i don't, I don't get why they're just putting some random person but when you incorporate all the different realms it makes sense and um hopefully it's good he's basically um the nudist sub-zero no 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 he's basically uh what's shorty's name from suicide squad Margot uh, robbie yeah but what's she play harley quinn Harley Quinn. That they made up Harley Quinn. Mr. J. From the animated series. 
And then they incorporated her in the comics, just like Jubilee in X-Men comics or X-Men uh, animated series. They incorporated her into the <laughs> comics. So I think like yeah. they might do this shit with this dude. Mm-hmm. Like maybe make him into a character. I think that they they might make him into a character, and they mm-hmm. want to introduce him. Sure, that's that's probably a part of it. But also, adding characters and random stories is Mortal Kombat's fucking mo. In every oh, single really? game, they introduce. Yeah, for sure. They make they make up five new characters, and they're just like fuck it. These are part of the Mortal whatever Kombat, realm uh, now. X didn't they introduce like uh, Johnny Cage's daughter or some shit? Yeah. And she was the main character yeah. in the in the video game. Boy, oh boy! Which, and I think uh, uh, Jax's daughter was there too. Something yeah. Like that. yeah, it was Jax's daughter and Johnny Cage's daughter. Those <laughs> yeah. were the two new characters in Mortal yeah. Kombat X. You know what? Uh, it was so Random. crazy. So there's a a dark. I think it's called. Uh, his name is Dark Saboot or something like that. He's Noob like a different version. Cybot. Huh? Noob Cybot. Yeah, Noob Cybot is like another version Noob. of Sub Zero, which is yeah, crazy yeah. to me. Yeah, <laughs> he's like the shadow version, mm-hmm. which is actually the other theory that was posted today is people think that Cole Young, that Cole is short for Shamel, so his name would be Shamel Young, which would be Chameleon. Oh, shit. So he might be Chameleon from the first or second Mortal Kombat game, which was an unlockable character. Mm -hmm. He's one of the ninjas that has no story whatsoever. Interesting. So So they give him one in the movie. Basically. Yeah, because I saw Reptile in the trailer, uh, which looks crazy. Yeah. (laughs) Reptile looks nuts. He's not chameleonaire. (laughs) Chameleonaire. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I was telling Frico on the way here that I had an issue because, like, they've they've messed up that that franchise through the years. Oh, yeah. And um, I... I was thinking they were going to put, like, more well-known actors, but then, like, Frico made a point, like, well, they've done this movie dozens of times. They should, they don't want to spend that much money. And They've low-key only done it twice they, in a yeah. big... Well, no, no, but all yeah, ov- overall, Mortal they've done Kombat it a lot. And, and Annihilation, but they did have that, like, fake short that they did, With which is super Michael fire. Yeah, Michael Jai White in it. Yeah. And... Mm-hmm. They, that should have been a real movie. Imagine no, you know what, what should have been a real movie when they did that Power Rangers short? That was pretty sick. I like that one. It was better than that new that other Power Rangers that they did. Uh, yeah, oh, that I was a fucking travesty, dude. Big I watched it in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> you, you paid you oh. paid that money? Yeah, I did. I so, would have too. Don't try. Brian Cranston quick, and Zordon. Quick, uh, quick story about Mortal Kombat Annihilation. You know who uh, plays Shao Kahn? No, uh, he was an actor. He played uh, the the uh, villain in Cobra. Oh, the white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So, um, he he uh, is partners with uh, one of the nurses where I work, and then I went up to him at the Christmas party, and I was like, <laughs> you know, drunk. I was like, yo, I loved you in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. He's like, oh, you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. He's like, ha, 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 ha. I'll show you my Shao Kahn. <laughs> yeah. And so fuck. that was a good moment for me, though. Like, I don't I don't ever have the courage to go up to anybody, <laughs> right? But, like, Especially we were vibing, right? And I was like, yo, you know what? I like the Immortal Kombat Annihilation. I know who you are, bro. <laughs> like... <laughs> Fuck what everybody else thinks. Yeah. I, I liked like it. That shit. <laughs> he, he was uh, he was also Hercules in uh, Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah, on a TV series or something. Mm-hmm. But that was dope. He played, he did a couple of things. He's, no, he's he he really a is a that guy a actor. Hey, it's that guy from that thing. Yeah. No, but to just meet somebody like that, like yeah. you've seen in a bunch of shit, and it's just like always like. But you want to keep your cool, right? Like <laughs> of course, you vibe of course. And everything. It's like once you get comfortable, you're like, yeah, dog. Yo, on a scale Come from on. one to boner, you how are you Khan. feeling? Huh? On a scale from one to boner, how were you feeling when Shao Kahn said, oh, oh you like that? <laughs> yeah, it was cool, bro. I was like, you know, I, like kept my cool. I kept my cool. I kept my cool. I keep my cool. You know, I like no how Shao, <laughs> his impression of Shao Kahn sounds like it. <laughs> you want to get your boat? <laughs> Whatever you say all you the time, every podcast, every boat? episode. <laughs> every other Every other episode. Nah, um, it's a good impression. What the fuck you offer me? It's but good. Uh, you said uh, the space. You know what? I was looking at images of the Space Jam uh, characters and the storyline. Uh, it looks interesting. Uh, um, they have a lot to play with because they're playing with a lot of w- WB characters. Double, 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 you. Um, so I'm just excited for all these movies. Oh yeah, for sure. Was the WB Max. Frog racist? 
Uh, maybe. I mean, if you... Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was voiced by a black dude. <laughs> He's so... like, no, 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 you bird. Yeah, no, it was... It was of the times. I, I was it a cult, cultural appropriation, maybe, but was it racist? I don't. Yeah, think I don't so. think so. I didn't see anything. That frog was. Black. I don't think so. The, the crows and whatnot that they. <laughs> that was crazy. That, I mean, they've got shit <laughs> over the so, history. We don't talk like, about hey, the man. Dumbo crows, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I went through There's a lot of stuff. I, went, I don't know if you guys, if I shared this with you guys, but I did go through a little. Uh, Rabbit hole. I, thought of I, saying, I went through these, a racist phase. Uh, Disney Disney movies that use the same characters or the same. I saw the video. You, did yeah. I share that? It was like a cartoon, and uh-huh. the scenes were the same. Yeah. So yeah, with the like, Jungle Book and Winnie the Pooh. They borrow a lot of uh, things from the movie Robin Hood. Jungle the Pooh. Or or they borrow a lot of things from the movie Jungle Book for like the movie Robin Hood. Sure. And well, also Disney um, has gotten in trouble many a times for stealing uh stealing from other people and one of the court cases that they i can't believe that they didn't fucking lose kimbo? um but lion king is a shot for shot remake of a japanese film of kimba kimba yeah, yeah. What, what didn't lion king kimba the white lion kimba huh no, well, did Kim- Kimba, Kimba came out first. Kimba was first. Kimba was first. Kimba was first, and it was literally fucking like it's a shot for shot. shot. No, it shots. is shot for shot. It's, yeah, shot it's for like shot. It's, I just thought Lion King was before Kimba. Nah, they just threw reason. a bunch of money at it, and they ended up winning the case. Oh shit! It's like that, huh? Well, well it's Disney crazy because money. Like when I started, actually, when the internet, I'm riding with Disney, man, because they, they got, got money, money man. man. When the internet Sorry, has like, so much like information, um, and I started actually looking at it and seeing, oh, this is a remake of that movie, and this is from China, or this is from Russia. Like, mm-hmm. it's crazy to me how like we gave so much praise and don't even bother like just taking it. Let's do some research. Like, mm-hmm. who, where did this come from, and was it better than the like for me the original Grudge, the original Ring. I think is better than the Ringu? American ones. I'm going to have to disagree, bro. I think that the original Grudge is better than ours, but the yeah. the Ring uh-huh. one that we made, the Ring is better. The Ring Wait, is better is, than Are you Ringu. talking about visual movie? effects but that's wise? Your favorite I'm movie. I'm just like, talking about your bias. I'm <laughs> I'm you. not it's not my favorite movie. Uh-huh. It is the one that scared me the most when I was a mm. kid. Yeah. But it just the things that they changed in the American Ring it did improve it. Okay. It did improve it. Like it changing the language up. to English and no. this face. <laughs> no, <you got laughs> <that>. Number one <laughs> improvement. No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, that was the, that was the one thing, it, it, dude. That's the one thing that fucks with me is this that face. when we take like Asian films and shit like that and remake them into English, which is why I lost mad respect for Spike Lee when he did Old Boy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> which <laughs> is crazy of, uh... because he is the guy who's like. God bless his heart. He is doing God's work when it comes to the the movies that he makes and yeah. the stories that he's telling. But also, you can't be like fucking. They're you know they're uh, taking Black Hollywood and exploiting it and shit like that. And there's no real black stories. And then you take an Asian story and fucking turn it white. And Fuck plus, it, bro. <laughs> with, a, like, with, like, a, come on, with a last bro. name like Lee, and then you're black. <laughs> like what the fuck. There's appropriation all, right, all around. All right, Gary. Tired of this shit. <laughs> okay, so you didn't like any Spike Lee movies. Got it. Got it. Got all it. Like the right right thing? Speaking of black people. Have you seen The, the Wailing? <laughs> the what? So, actually. The Wailing. Holy shit. Great movie. But Na Hung Jin either. is my favorite director. Yeah. Number one. Who? Na Hung Jin. That's the homie. Yeah, he's not hung. Not Hung Jin. That's a homie right he there. He's never been hung. Tiny Pecker. Ever. Tiny Pecker, but great <laughs> at horror. And he did The Wailing, and it's great. He did The Wailing, he did The Yellow Sea, and Chaser. All on Shudder? Um, the Wailing is on Shudder. The a... Wailing's on Shudder right now. The Yellow Sea is my favorite movie by him, and Chaser is also really fucking good. Lex loves Chaser, and she does but not like any movies. you guys are fucking like psychos, that. man. I there's don't another... understand how you guys just watch fucking <laughs> scary movies. There's, like another, there's another good, uh, uh, I think, guess it's Korean horror, that's in the same vein as The Wailing that's on there. Is it called The calling or but why do you guys like the changing shit? changeling no not changeling that's an old mm-hmm. i don't i don't know but if you or anyone that's listening has shutter i highly recommend the uh, way oh 
fuck. May the devil take you too. Ooh, fuck that. It nah, is, that just that sounds. I'm in. I'll watch it, it tonight. It, it, it is the. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Vietnamese version of Evil Dead. So the guy obviously fucking loves Evil Dead because mm-hmm. it is straight up as kind of funny with how campy it is mm-hmm. sometimes, with Ash. but how terrifying the monster is and the transformations and the monsters are insane may i mean the devil it is take you too. may okay, the devil maybe take I'll you too shit it's really because... really fun and really good did i give you my password yeah, for shutter i got have it All but right, it's good. just like i haven't watched anything but the the movie where uh she rape she gets raped and then uh the nightingale she... No, no, the she one gets the raped one. and then revenge, she kills oh, everybody. Oh yeah, yeah. Revenge. revenge, revenge. <laughs> that shit was hard. Yeah. Um, that, 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 the like, Nightingale was also good. Where they're just like going around in fucking circles in the like the house. <laughs> Yeah. That's a lot of blood, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that movie was great. It's just, uh, shit. I'm not just Shutter. Sta- Shutter I'm has not... a lot of gems. If you're okay with like reading subtitles, Shutter has some good shit on there. Yep. That, like a lot of horror movies are great in different languages. There's some good uh, Spanish horror movies. There's some good Korean, some good like Japanese stuff. It's good stuff on there. Did yeah. you did you end up watching that movie from Netflix that I told you about? Uh, the platform. Nah, man. You said you didn't want to, right? Or Don't worry. Like Netflix so, is wag, bro. One no, of one I of was the, noticing that the other day too. I don't. I almost yeah. Ne- Netflix never is find anything really on Netflix whack. now. Yeah, Netflix is getting pretty whack. But no, the plat. Okay, so I actually have a weird thing with food, and it's one of the only things that disgusts me. Oh. It's like when people are stuffing their faces with food, and when <laughs> oh, I see like food gluttony. ripped apart, it just something about it. I can watch a person get cut into five hundred pieces. I could legitimately, if somebody showed me. Like an actual terrorist execution video where people are actually getting their heads chopped off. I'd rather watch three hours of that than a fifteen-minute mukbang video. <laughs> and I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Well, I got the video of this pit bull. Eating I got this, this mukbang video. <laughs> if you want to watch it, I'll send it to you. I saw that one. That was crazy. That bro. was. I I have nightmares about that. But <laughs> I think we we spoke about this. What was that toxic video? Uh, toxic movie with uh, Zendaya. And uh, John Washington, John David Washington. Uh, you're talking about um, something in Marie. Marie and Marie. Malcolm and Marie. Malcolm, Malcolm and Marie. And Marie. Yeah. That shit was cool for uh, 40 minutes, but then it's like, God damn, you still fighting? Like, they just keep going back and forth for, like, for two hours. It's like too much. You want to watch a movie where they're fighting constantly, but it's entertaining? Watch The Lovebirds. No, I'm good. With uh, um. Home, why, why am I blanking on her name? Homegirl from um, Insecure. Issa, Issa Rae. Issa Rae. Issa Rae and the, oh, I like that movie, though. Yeah, I liked it. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, if you want to watch a movie where they're arguing the whole movie, but it's also entertaining. Yeah, but that they're actually in, not in just uh, no, a house. Gets, no, that Malcolm movie was, Marie, yeah. They're they just were. <laughs> in a, did you watch it? I did not. They're, they're just in yeah, a house. It's a, <laughs> it's a quarantine movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, and I got it. Uh, there's a good the, quarantine movie on Shudder. Listen, the acting is great. The story is cool. Like, I understand why they did it. And all encompassing is cool. But it's like not something I want to watch. Like, this, these two people fighting, like being mean to each other, like for for two hours? That's an interesting, nah, interesting yeah. take. I've heard I'm a lot of, a lot of couples life. are like, <laughs> for that's two hours? I don't like want to watch that shit for two hours. Like, nah, did you watch it with Bay? Yeah. Yeah. But, Bad but, idea. Like, and we're go, going back and forth. We're like, no, I'm on his side. No, I'm on her side. So, uh, and then she and, get mad because you're on his side. No, 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 no. Like we, 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 we're, we're. Shout out to Al. Y'all good. Y'all good. Yeah, we're good. Like we're just drinking, watching a movie, like uh, having fun with it. But yeah. at the same time, it's like, when is this shit gonna be over? Like, cause they're just fighting for real, for no, no resolution really. Like, yeah, Yo, you guys ever seen a chick that looks so good and gets you mad? <laughs> oh, bitch. What you mean? <laughs> Over here with your ass all out. I fucking hate you. Uh, what no, are you never talking mind, about? about it. Um, no, I'm, I'm interested. What does that mean? Like, never like I literally okay. just, I literally just fucking named my fiance. You think I'm gonna fucking answer that? <laughs> you numb nuts. I don't know. Fuck. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm just look. Honestly, it was, ball, it was an interesting. It was an interesting statement. Swing. I don't know. It was an interesting statement. I wanted to hear it, but I understand why he won't want. Why he won't want to. You goddamn on right. Uh, I just threw this all ball out. I want to see if Gary would hit it. He did not, pussy. But speaking of, <laughs> speaking of people Trump being face. hot and uh, pissing people off. Kanye and Kim are no more. And so what do you guys say about that, big boy? 
<laughs> as he continues to give me drunk face. Fuck out of here. Keep drinking, you asshole. I'll talk about this by myself. I don't need y'all to do my podcast dolo. Um, do so Kim and Kanye, yeah, shout out to the Damn Network. Kim and Kanye um, decided to call it quits. Mm-hmm. And, and it's it's good on both sides. They both are doing this together. They're agreeing with joint cust- joint physical custody of the kids. Um, they're happy that they're gonna split up, and um, it's gonna be all good. Um, the yams. Do you think that that's gonna take <laughs> Kanye down the path of like no return? Like he's just gonna spiral out of control. I hope so. Fuck. <laughs> Because maybe the music will be better. I think he's already been there. I think this might be that one thing that pushes him over the edge, and he just goes completely Look, nuts. I don't want any. I'm not lose. I don't it, want any uh, heartbreak for Kanye. It's too late. I don't want. I don't want anybody to suffer. Uh huh. But I don't think we're gonna get any more. Great music from Kanye. If it's not, and and there were like two tracks that I, I that I would play off the Jesus is King album, but the, I don't Thanks. think we're gonna get any more college dropouts. Do you think he's gonna fuck Jeffrey Star? Now that he's nah, bro. That shit is old. That shit was debunked. Like, why would you? Who debunked bring- it? Everybody like you guys smell his dick. How you gonna tell I me? Mean, why look, would I? If probably we, mag glitter if on that shit. If it's been in Jeffrey Star's ass, then why would I want to smell it? Which, by the way, I've seen pictures of Jeffrey Star, no ass. Mm, well, Just not putting it. But in see, there. like then you're giving more power to the ass and not the asshole. And what what would you give? Why don't you give power to the asshole? And what a fucking prude guys, I've what been are you doing right now? I'm being a prude. Apparently, I'm not you giving are. credit to the asshole. All right, asshole. look. So. Uh, um, back to the actual Donald conversation and a- answering Trump Frico. Face. Look, I, I think um, it could be a lot of things. One of the things that I hope it does, because the ongoing narrative is that him being with that whole family has just ruined his mentality and has taken did. him to that place where he is right now. Shouts to Charlie Zeta Jones over here for fucking going through the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so the ongoing narrative has been that. Uh, and I think that I would. I'm hopeful that all of that will take him to a place where he can do the music he wants. Uh, he can live the life he wants and uh, kind of reflect in a good way as opposed to like having to do things for, uh, what do you call it, um, PR purposes. I do uh, think the Kardashians fucked up Kanye. Yeah, and I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I hope it goes that way, but it can also go to the way that Ricardo started but the conversation that with. that he's gone to... To the on the Jesus route, the, the same thing that happened to Mace will happen to Kanye. Where it's after Mace went uh, through the whole um, evangelist aspect of his musical career, nobody wanted to hear Murder Mace after that. Shit, I did. No, you didn't. You right. When you when you heard the fucking uh, Cameron diss. And he was hard, like you heard it, and then like it nah, was but then like, I heard hey. window shopper. Body. No, I, I disagree. I think a lot of people, when you like, okay, another example uh, uh, with that, uh, what's what's up, uh, Malice? He wanted to. No Malice, Malice. is dope ass rapper though. His name is No Malice now. Okay, but yeah. that's still. But <laughs> that's I think the statement. Name, I think way. the statement still stands because okay, Murder Mace, Malice, dope dope rapper. He went into. They both went into Christianity, our religion, and okay, Mace came back and he gave some bars, and um, I think a lot of hardcore fans of Mace were happy. I think people would be happy. W- wasn't Malice on uh, Jesus is King? Yes, he was. He, he delivered a couple of bars. You know, people yep. would love to hear a non-Christian bar from Malice too. I don't think it, you ever lose that. You ever lose that want from people that really love you as a fan. I think you're 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 misconstruing my shit. Just like, all right, let me go for full circle with like what I was saying with in the beginning with Crystal Lee and Brian Callen. If Kanye West gives me another um, graduation, uh-huh. I'm here for it. Okay, I I will gladly accept it and listen to it and love it. Uh-huh. Like, where are you gonna put it? Right in my, I'm right in my phone, right in my ears, right in my memory bank. Mm. Like, why right not? iTunes. Like, 
it's gonna be great if no, he can actually pull it off. I don't, think, I don't off. think he can. But, can, but but like. I think we just gotta accept the fact that we are not gonna get that anymore. I think I think Kanye, and I feel like I have. I think and I'm too, sad about me, it. No, I, I feel like I have and I'm okay with it. Like I think what we've gotten from Kanye and who gives a fuck what I think, but I think what we have gotten from Kanye, uh, college dropout, uh, uh, late, late registration, registration, graduation, 808s and heartbreaks. Uh, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, and even gotcha. life of Pablo. I think everything we've gotten from Kanye, like if that's where the story ended, and I'm not talking about dying, but if that's where the story ended, I'm cool with that. Mm-hmm. But speaking of the story ending, let's say your story ended. Mm. That's a weird transition, but let's say it did. What would be like? What would be your last words, and what would you not want to be your last words? See, I thought that it would depend on the way that I would die. Okay, you go out in your what's your what's your my worst way to die is worst way in to a die. fire, right? Okay, so what do you not want to say while you're burning to death? But but oh my crotch, it burns. But if I'm being heroic or something like that, then I'm like, like even Jack even from, if it's a fire shit from this is us? scenario, like nah. But see that I saw that episode. And it's whack. He didn't bro. do shit that was that heroic. Whole sh- that Fuck whole Jack. show is whack to me, man. Fuck Jack. Let's, Fuck yeah, this is join, us. Yeah, yeah, you're in there with me now. I looked at your elbow. He still missed. Um, <laughs> how? Fuck Jack. I don't know how. How? <laughs> how sway? How? <laughs> um, so, I, I don't want to die in a fire, and I don't. I don't know. But if I was gonna say something cool before I died, it's lit. <laughs> No, but like if if you do say it and you're burning, like you gotta be auto tune, like Travis nah, Scott. Nah. The best, the best shit that I've ever seen before somebody died is <laughs> and the fucking Terminator just going into the lava with the fucking thumbs up, hands down. <laughs> Get it? Hands down. The best ever. The nah. best ever. Nah, what? What's a better way? <laughs> Name a better way somebody died. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, how do I know? I don't know. All right, um, well, uh, take, this, take the same question for okay. yourselves. Uh, fuck, if I'm... I guess my... Because I don't I don't know what to fucking say. You know what would be scary as fuck? looking at you, kid. You know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use a movie quote. <laughs> Mama! Monica! Just go like Ja Rule. Who's Monica? In Too Fast, Too Furious. Just go like Ja Rule. Um, you know what's scary as fuck? Like, what if... Uh, so, um, what movie was I watching? I don't remember the exact movie, but I will use Gravity as an example. The movie, Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock and uh, Tommy Lee Jones? No, who was in it? Uh, George, George Clooney. Clooney. George Clooney. <laughs> Same white old guy. Um, I don't know. George Clooney's fine. So, they say like... When you, when you're, oh, actually it was a TV show is what I saw this on. I think it was called uh, Grand Alone. Grand Alone. Grand I don't know. Class. It was a space show on Netflix. But let's say you're like in on the space station, right? And they say like if you get detached when you're doing a spacewalk and you're not tethered and you just kind of start to float, like you'll just go forever until you run out of oxygen or whatever. Something hits you and you just die. That's scary as fuck to think about. Like just to be fucking floating in endlessness, in the dark, alone, that's almost like being stuck in the ocean, which is fucking terrifying. That's what you. I think you don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't like. Yeah, I don't want to die alone. <laughs> Yo, if I ever die, like somebody hold me, bro. Like, I'm gonna hold you, and I'm gonna tell you why you're holding me. Hold me. Okay. Hold. hold me. <laughs> I'm already holding. You. <laughs> hold tight. What about you, Mike? I got nothing. <laughs> You got nothing for this? Well, like, you got no I last words? Oh, no, I, no, I got, no, no, I got no. I got no last word. That. What, did you say? what did you say when you took that sip of the iced coffee? I couldn't say anything. Right before you died? <laughs> I was dying. No, but I respect that because I, I like the fact that you don't want to bring that shit into your life, that negativity, that fucking I don't really like you know to get things like that energy. Like, you don't want that shit, so I get that. You don't want... Charlie, you have anything for this? 
Yeah, what are your last words going to be, Charlie? Um, Besides, uh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> well, how'd you know? Uh, weirdly Yo, enough. Because, what if Charlie was like, in a fucking like, a Western and he like, dies in a shootout? He's like, draw. <laughs> and he gets shot. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. And he's just like holding his wound and he's, as he dies. Yo, Charlie, that's the way you go out, bro. That's the way he... Okay. Please die. That Charlie way. goes out. <laughs> in the don't die, but if you do, please die that way. I, and then Charlie freed the slaves. Hell. Charlie's the good Lord Bird. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie is Ethan Hawke for sure. You're no, off, you are man. Officer Hoyt. Yo, Charlie. Oh, real quick. I know we're we're trying to close this out, but didn't you say uh, when I brought up Good Lord Bird a couple weeks back, it was a shit show to to film or something? Yes. What were your What were your comments on that? Because Gary said you didn't say anything like that. I before. loved it, by the way. Gary so it. it was a fucking nightmare to film. To film. Um, they fired the director, uh, who is a cool dude. Guy's a really cool dude. Um, no Roman they, Polanski or anything. No. Nah. Well, isn't that guy <laughs> shout fucking out to Chris an asshole? Didn't he rape some girl? Yeah, yeah. He shout had out. sex with a lot of young girls. Yeah, fucking sick fuck. Fucking That's why he's in France. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. The director was real cool, but they kicked him off the show. They bled the money. It, I, my favorite production company for a long time was Blumhouse. Seven bucks. Just because, just because I, you know, I love like horror Blumkins. movies, and the stuff that they were putting out when they were growing was really awesome stuff. Um, but they showed their true colors on that production, and they were real cheap about it. They bled money in the wrong places, and then they fired everybody and brought in their own people, which was obviously their plan all along. So they're using productions to pay their employees. To further their own. To further their own, okay. basically. Operation. And not give a fuck whether the thing fails okay. or not, as far as non-horror movies go. Okay, but let, let's, let's separate that from the show itself. Did you watch it? No. Do you have any thoughts on it? Um, I've seen clips from it, and I saw stuff when we were obviously working on the visual effects. And um, they cut a lot of the stuff that we wanted to do and that my dad and my brother worked super hard on to get on, on set. And, uh, Shout out to Charlie Sr. Yeah. So Charlie Jr. Jr. I, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, it's a show – that could have been even better than you guys are saying that it is, and they got in the way of themselves. Ethan Hawke's and that pisses me off more than anything. Carries the show, I think. I think so too. I didn't really like the last episode, but the whole show to me was it was good. It was well acted for what it was to. Anything that's coming out right here in this COVID era is just great because especially if it's not like in, in one setting type thing or with masks or nothing like that, like, or where they don't make it obvious that they have to do some COVID shit. Sure. Like this was a period piece where... And I hate period I, pieces. The, the, yeah, me too. Like the, the actors were doing the damn thing. Yo, what, what, what was the name of the little boy girl? Uh, uh, onion. 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 Shout out to Onion. Onion was great. Shout out to Onion. Onion was great. Yeah, and then like at the, oh, I ain't gonna spoil it. But uh, yo, it was it was great. But speaking of spoiled, and speaking of Kanye West divorces and being sad. Mm -hmm. Daft Punk, no more. No, 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 no. Give me one more time though. One more time. One more night. I'll give you. One more night. One more time. One more night. 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 Cause that shit was hard too, <laughs> with the weekend. Starboy. Mm -hmm. Yo, shout out to Daft Punk, Yo, man. Daft Punk. And why are they breaking up? Do you guys ever? Do you know? I have I have no clue about this honestly. Because they secretly I... fell in love with each other and then realized they weren't gonna work out. 
I got yeah. a little bit of. Uh, they took off the helmets and just didn't like how they looked. You know underneath. what? So, somebody, somebody, uh, I was, I think I was on a, uh, some website or whatever, and they yeah. were showing pictures of Daft Punk, and then the last picture was like what they really looked like, and I was like, oh, they well, have faces. Like what I just said. I mm-hmm. didn't know they had faces. Yeah, they're two, they're two like French dudes. I'm pretty yeah. sure, but French as fuck. Um, Bonjour. So it's actually only, which is why the whole epilogue video that they did one of them explodes and the other guy walks into the sunset is because one of them quit. Uh, he said he didn't want to do it anymore. Um, and oh, he shit. wasn't interested in going on. So it definitely is one of them wants to continue doing music and, and the other does one it. does not. And you can't do Daft Punk without Daft Punk. Exactly. So. Mm. Which is, which actually is a lie because you wear helmets. You could have totally replaced his ass, but, but I get it, but I get but that's it. That's not I the point, it. dude. And the dynamic. I think that's I, very honorable of the other guy though. Cause yeah, like some people are like, I'll just do something solo. Yeah. 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 Look, uh, random access memories is a good album to go out on just random. because it was a love letter to the very music that inspired everything that they did Stay up on night and they got uh, Giorgio on there they got um uh Pharrell. Paul Williams y- to do songs that literally inspired everything that they were fucking doing so it's it's the perfect album to go out on but there's something about Daft Punk where every single time that they make an album um it's like we needed it you know, there's there's something about it where they bring something to the table that nobody else is doing, and it makes you feel something, whether you like that type of music or not. Whether nah, you fuck that, we like that type of music. <laughs> sure, I think as human beings, right. we love that shit. Like that, that shit gets you hype. Like, it does. Boom, 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 boom. I'm hype you know, right now. Like, I'm sure, but but even like so on on random access memories, like. My favorite song, which is obviously their favorite song because that's the song that they went out on in Epilogue. What was it? Is Touch by Paul Williams. I don't know. If it's... So it is a super beautiful song. And that's actually something that you know who Paul Williams is, I'm guessing. I because do. your your family I... loves the fucking, what's that weird movie? The Phantom of the Meg, um, what is Opera? it? No, 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 no. The weird, weird one with the guy with the so... bird beak face and shit. And oh, he's like, uh, the uh, not Phantom of the Opera. No, no, he has a bird mask. bird face. Uh, fucking guy, David Bowie. Not David Bowie. Phantom. Yeah, the Labyrinth. Nah, bro. Bird face human dong. Yeah, he had a fucking fucking bird face mask on there. Phantom of the Paradise. Dog, I don't even know that. Movie. It's your, it's your sister and your mom's and your dad's like favorite movie. No, my dad's favorite movie is uh, Midnight, where the dude gets raped and fucking Midnight prison. Cowboy. No, uh, Midnight, where the dude gets raped in prison and then he falls in love with the dude. Philip Morris. That's like Shape of Water, but like in jail. Kind of, <laughs> but Shape of Water is whack. I don't know why they gave it so many. <laughs> Yo, because love you is like love. Shape of Water. Love is love. But bro. That's beside the point. That's beside. In the any point. case, point being is that they introduce these fucking songs. That if you do hear it, if you do hear and listen to Touch, and I hope mm-hmm. you guys do, and I hope people listening do, it it is like. Just this beautiful song that encapsulates everything that they've fucking done. And it, that's the whole point of all of their albums. Like, at any time that they release music, it's not what you want to hear. It's what you should hear at that point in time. In that case, let's go out to touch. Sure. If, if it's a good way to close out their career, <laughs> it's a good way to close out this podcast. I like what you said where it's like one of them left and one of them was exploded. like... Exploded. No, no. One of them... <clears throat> did he explode? Yeah. I didn't see the video, but like you're not going to hire... He said you're not going to hire one guy and not the other. You're not going to hire Daft when you don't have Punk. You need Punk. You know what I'm saying? You need, you need punk. punk. So... Drop it. Damn. It sucks. Oh, well, it's over. See y'all. Well, combos at the condo. Combos right? at the condo. This has been episode 107. I'm rich. Definitely in this bitch. Potter to my left. Razzy in the building. Definitely in the building. Wait, Mike. 
rest in peace, Caesar Pesmino Sr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to Rob, man. R.I.P. Shout out to Rob. And Potter to my right. Um, Big Mike. I've been all up on the mic. Cameraman. He's Definitely white. white. And he's Chuck. He's up. And he's what? Motherfucker stuck. Goddamn right. Let's go, Chuck. Hit me with that. Pizza. Uh, <laughs> this thing, right? Pizza. <laughs> Yo, we need to go fucking to Japan and do. You're not doing the heart. They gotta look like hearts, stupid. Oh, I thought I just fucking like. Well, You're not just the pinching nipples. shit. No, they gotta be hearts. Picture hearts. Well, this is how I pinch nipples. Yo, at what point does one of them blow up? Nips. And one of them rides off into the sunset. I'm down. I'm down. If we ever uh, break up convos, I'm gonna do it like an epilogue style video. I hope you blow. We're like I'm killing Gary, and I'm also stabbing <laughs> he Mike says, in the chest. I hope you blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Probably from.